SketchUp House Project Video 5, Adding Window Openings. In the previous video, we added a floor to our house model, and I can't wait to start adding flooring, wall colors, furniture. Well, we're not there quite yet. Our house has no windows, so let's let some light in. You may want to add a second copy of your floor plan to reference as you work. Just like before, click File, Import, make sure you are seeing files of type, all supported image types, and open your floor plan image. Click, drag to resize, and click again to place the floor plan somewhere easy to see. You can straighten your view of the model anytime by clicking Camera, Standard Views, Top. Now you can see I have a copy of the floor plan next to my house model for easy reference, and now I'm ready to start adding window openings. First, I use the floor plan to identify the locations of the windows. Here at the front of the house, I have one, two, three, four, five openings to make. I have already completed one window opening as an example. Here's how I did it. Change your view so you can see the wall pretty well straight on. Click the tape measure tool. Click on the bottom edge of the wall and drag the mouse upward. The dashed line following the cursor is a guideline that we can snap on the model. Type 3, 6, Enter on the keyboard to snap the guideline 36 inches from the ground. This will be the bottom edge of our window opening. Click the top edge of the wall and drag the mouse downward to begin a new guideline. Type 2, 4, Enter on the keyboard to snap the guideline 24 inches from the top of the wall. This will be the top edge. Click the end of the wall and drag a guideline to the required locations on each side of the window opening. With the guidelines in place, click the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle from corner to corner using the guidelines. Lastly, click the Push-Pull tool to remove the rectangle. Click on the rectangle, hold the button down, move the mouse in through the wall until it just reaches the other side. You should notice a change in color and see a blue dot and a tooltip saying on face at your mouse cursor. Release the mouse button. You've removed the material from the wall and have made a window opening. We're done with the guidelines on this wall, so I'm going to delete them using the eraser tool. When erasing, always be careful to not accidentally erase parts of your model. These two window openings look good. I'll take care of the two windows on the side of the garage next. Just like before, I will start by setting up my guidelines. Using the tape measure tool, click the bottom edge of the wall, drag up, type 3, 6, enter. Click the top edge of the wall, drag down, type 2, 4, enter. Click and drag from the end of the wall for vertical guidelines. Use the Rectangle tool to draw a rectangle from corner to corner using the guides. Then use the Push-Pull tool to push the rectangle through the wall until it reaches the other side. Release the mouse button. Again, Rectangle tool, draw a rectangle corner to corner using the guidelines, push pull tool, push to the back side of the wall and release. If the rectangle does not disappear, you may have pushed too far through the wall. Edit undo and try again. Be careful to make sure you see the blue dot and on face before releasing the mouse button.
clean up the guidelines with the eraser tool. I still have a number of window openings to make. I'll follow the same process for each. Okay, here we go. Okay, all the window openings have been made. We'll come back to the windows again later on. Next, we'll start making this model look more like a home by adding floor. Next, we'll start making this model look more like a home by adding flooring and wall color.